and welcome to this demonstration of creating alerts within Simple Help. Creating alerts within Simple Help is simple and easy. Alerts within Simple Help allow you to take a more proactive approach to managing your environment. We can alert on items such as low disk space, high CPU utilization, whether a file exists or not, uh, etc. Any machine that has actually triggered an alert will have a flag indicator next to that machine name within the main console. You can then actually drill into that alert to see more details. From the alerts tab, we'll actually walk through the process of creating an alert very similar to this AV or antivirus out of date. To do so, you simply click the new alert button give this alert a name. We'll call this Disk Health. Okay. At this point we'll go ahead and click the Set Trigger Condition and we'll add our threshold. Now we we'll have several categories of thresholds we can add. From machine resources we can look at CPU usage, disk space, machine, uh, excuse me, memory usage as well as disk health which we'll choose in a second. Under Applications we have the ability to create uh, process CPU utilization or usage, uh, antivirus status, firewall status. I'll just read through just a couple of these. File, whether a file is accessible or not, uh, whether a file has last been modified within X amount of time. You also have the ability to trigger based off of Windows event logs. From a network perspective, we can trigger based off of TCP port availability website validation as well as website response time and we have the ability to create a custom action we'll visit a custom action in a future demonstration I'll simply go back to machine resources I'll select my disk health and all policies are just as simple to configure you'll note it has a default name I can modify this name or add my own indicator here if I'd like and we simply choose the trigger if the disk is about to fail or the disk is okay then trigger alt select is about to fail and I will select create pair what create pair does is not only creates the trigger but it creates the reset so basically when is the machine in fault and when it is it out of fault I have the ability to stack these triggers as well uh, as well as I can manipulate the amount of time uh, that must pass before this particular machine triggers based off of the selection. We'll leave the defaults here and I'll click next. I can filter across specific machines or all machines in the environment. We'll leave this to trigger across all machines because from a disk health perspective we'd want to know if any machine in the environment is having a problem with its disk about to fail. I'll click next again. Now do I want to save this information to a file, maybe a log file that gets updated and maybe consumed by some other tool? I can send an email, and this could be a smart email. Uh, doesn't have to be a one size fit all. So I have the ability to add in um, uh, parameters here and send this maybe to my help desk implementation that triggers a workflow that performs a specific task. I can run commands against the uh, simple help server itself. Maybe I have some additional tools, um, processes, files, and things on that server that I want to uh, use as a part of my process. I can log this to a website. I can notify technicians in my environment. Or I can run a toolbox item. And this toolbox item could be a script or software install. In this particular case, I have a disk health issue. I'm going to run a super duper uh, Windows script. And maybe if, if I have a heterogeneous environment where I have Mac, uh, Linux, as well as Windows, I can go ahead and create a trigger based off of those specific operating systems and target those specific groups of machines. So in that particular case, I would use a filter. I'll click Next again. Upon reset, what would I like to happen? Maybe I just simply write this to a log file. Okay. In our particular example, I'll leave this set to none. I'll click done. Now I simply enable the policy. 
the systems are evaluated. Any machine that falls into this particular category of fault, it will actually show up here within my console. Creating an alert within Simple Help is just that simple. Thank you.